Hello everybody, and today we're going to be talking about your windows and what you need to do with your windows for your hurricane season. Now is the time to prep. So as you can see on this window here, I do not have a hurricane shutter. I have some on some of my house, but not on these windows. So I have plywood that is cut out, which I'm going to show you that fits right into these windows. Now, when you're measuring, you wanna measure from roughly right around in here. Don't wanna go right up against the, the seal right here because it is gonna be real tight to get it in and out. So I bring it in like about a half an inch on both sides. So just bring it in just about a half an inch. And then I have you these clips I'm gonna show you. And it's a real easy install and you can just put them right in. So let's move on around to the other side of the house. Now something I just want to bring right to your attention. You do see people that take and nail or screw right out to the side here and just block off the whole window. If you have a wood frame house, that is fine. My house is made out of cinder blocks that are filled with concrete. So that is not an option as far as you could drill holes I guess and put in clamps but that would be a mess all my windows and stuff are all rated to um, the hurricane windows rated to 120 miles an hour but that's not my problem I worry about debris and pieces of fence and everything else flying around and hitting the windows and cracking them with a force of 100 plus miles an hour and it wouldn't be a good thing. Now as you can see back here on the patio I don't have anything to cover that door. It's a double plain glass door and it's hurricane rated up to 120 miles an hour. Um, these windows here are the same as the window I just showed you from before. I do have wood pieces that are cut out and like I said, you just want to just bring it in just about to where you can see that little seam there. If you can see that seam, so that's about a half an inch. And bring that in and it gives you plenty of room to play with. And now is the time that you want to measure your windows and get your plywood and get everything that is ready. So when the hurricane comes, and if you label your windows like I'm going to show you, it's a very easy setup. I can have this house closed up and ready to go in about 35-40 minutes. Now you can see on the back of the house right here, I do have hurricane shutters that go over these windows. Now what you want to do at this time of the year is, you want to get in and you want to check out your tracks. And what I typically do around the beginning of May is I get the pressure washer out and I pressure wash out all the tracks and stuff and then I test the windows they're on a crank from the inside and I test the windows out to make sure that they're all, all good and there is nothing wrong with the windows oh and one other thing don't forget to put away all your hoses and stuff too when there's a hurricane we're gonna go in the shed now. okay so we're in the shed now there's my generator and my gas cans. Now here's the plywood that I put over all the windows and you can see that I have labeled everything like this one goes to the front door. These here are the clips that I'm talking about. Now I do attach mine you don't have to they will slide right over a half an inch piece of plywood with no problem um, but you just take and as long as you label them and you know exactly where they go you can pop these suckers up one two three these are called ply locks and you can get them online you can get them on Amazon and I'll make sure that I show you that now we just had a recently had a roof put on our house and they left behind some of the uh, rolls of this uh, shingling that they kind of put down 
and uh, so I scarfed that up just in case that you know I do get a hole or something in the roof I can patch that up real quick and then down here if you guys look in here because I'm not gonna move all this wood but if you look in here and I you see all these metal pieces right here these ones that are right here are the short ones and those are what I put in the garage and I put them on the inside of the garage door and then in the slots here I tap them in with a sheet metal screw to reinforce my garage door just a little bit more information to help keep you safe so as you can see on the same side of the house where the shed and stuff is I have this this one big huge window right here luckily this is on the north side of my house um, but I do have a big sheet of plywood that fits right into that and then also over here this is where the bathroom shower is and I have a piece that's cut to fit right inside and this one's a little tough because you don't really get a lot of room and another thing you may want to walk around while you're out measuring and stuff is just to take and walk around and check all your soffit and make sure that it's all good and uh, not loose and hanging down or something because the wind will just rip that right off there just a little bit of tidbit information just to help you out and to try to keep you and your family safe inside your home during this hurricane season 2020 my name is Charles this is survival preparedness for beginners and until next time I'll catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.